to the, the, the dog. <laughs> right? Now, this is my life, so don't get mad at me, but you ought to have scripture sign your car. Amen. That's right. You got the car God gave you. Yeah, put a scripture sign that right. car. That's right. I heard that car. That's right. You care for them things. That parent's broken back there. It won't hurt, oh, hurt your car. You don't hurt that car. Not only that, we get raptured out tonight. That thing's going to burn in two or three weeks. So don't worry about it. All right? It'll be all right. God's going to torture that thing. going to burn it up. Yeah. Help you get from point A to point B in this life. Yeah. And really, let's not make a God out of that. Yeah. 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 Look, the word of God on it, bro. Yeah. And you know how many people are reading the Bible because of this meeting tonight? A lot. This meeting today, a lot are going to read the Bible in this community because yeah, some sir. people have already put scripture side in their car. I'm going to turn this on. Y'all can edit it whatever you want to. See if that thing comes on.
killer by O.J. Simpson. <laughs> I'm a short book. I don't take long. How to drink and drive safely by Ted Kennedy. Amen. That's a good one right there. And finally, there's one more you ought to get. My complete knowledge of military strategy by Nancy Pelosi. That's a good one right there. So get those books. They're available for your nearest Christian group down there in Cedar Springs. Get that one right there. I found this. I'm just trying to get loose up here. Just trying to relax a little bit. I got this. This is words of wisdom here. I think uh, uh, Bob Jones Sr. wrote this. I'm kidding. He didn't write this. A little bird was flying south for, for the winter. It says this. It says it got so cold, it froze up. It fell to the ground in a large field. While it was lying there, a cow came by and dropped some manure on it. As it lay there in the pile of manure, it began to realize how warm it was. The manure was actually thawing him out. He lay there all warm and happy and soon began to sing for joy. A passing cat heard the little bird singing and came to investigate. Following the sound, the cat discovered the bird under the pile of manure and promptly dug him out and then ate him. The morals of the story are these. Number one, not everyone who drops manure on you is your enemy. Amen. That's good right there. You can chew on that for a minute. Uh, not everyone who digs you out of a pile of manure is your friend. Yeah. Amen. That's a good one right there. And when you're in the pile of manure, keep your mouth shut. Yeah. Amen. That's a good one right there. I have fallen in two or three of those piles in my life. And I have found when you're going through it, amen, you might as well just keep your mouth shut because nobody really cares anyhow. Right. That's about how it goes. I got this one. Hey, no blondes in here at all. All right. Quick look. A blonde called her boyfriend and says, please come over here and help me. I have a killer jigsaw puzzle and I can't figure out how to get started. Her boyfriend asks, what is it supposed to be when it's finished? The blonde says, according to the picture on the box, it's a rooster. Her boyfriend decides to go over and help her with the puzzle. She lets him in and shows him where, uh, where she has the puzzle spread all over the table. He studies the pieces for a moment, looks at the box, and then turns to her and says, first of all, no matter what we do, we're not going to be able to assemble these pieces into anything resembling a rooster. He takes her by the hand uh, uh, and says this, says, uh, I want you to relax, let's have a nice cup of tea, and then with a deep sigh he said this, let's put all the cornflakes back in the box. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm doing right there. Man, they're 
some of my heroes are Jack Chicks went up, amen. Yeah, he went up with them chick, them chick, uh, them chick comic books and had people, hundreds and thousands, yay, millions of them things all over the country. And uh, man, him and him and Bill Eubanks is talking about our ministry. And he said, you know, uh, Jack Chick said, uh, you know, that magnetic sign ministry is probably one of the most uh, powerful ministries in America today. I'll tell you what, I went, wow, what did that guy just say? And it helped me so much. Bill Eubanks, he, uh, he took us on for support. We got a missionary taking us on for support. Now that's crazy, man. But we are not a lady. We're a little bit, every one of us, I guess, some match or another. Uh, Earl Ankrum, he took us on for support. And we took Earl Ankrum on support. So if you can lay up my, my mind, my calculator up here first, right? And we, our checks pass in the mail, we don't get blood. And that's just how it works. We're enjoying this thing one way. Life is too short to go through this thing miserable. Amen. I know it's hard. I know it's tough. I know you, it's, a, it's a battle out there. I know that. But friend, one day it's all going to be over. Hey, we're going to be there uh, someday. Take your Bible there and look at Mark chapter 4 and verse 35. I want to preach on the storm. I said, I want to preach on the storm. And it says this in verse 35. Look at Mark 4, 35. And let's begin there. God help us today. Uh, and it came to, and it came, and let me read it like it says it. I quit reading that NIV. I do a lot. <laughs> and the same day, when the even was come, he saith unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. And when they, and when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. Now this is a story here about the big storm. And there were also with him other little ships. But notice there in verse 35. It says, let us pass over unto the other side. Verse 37. And there arose a great storm of wind. And the waves beat unto the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, care us come up that we perish? Look at the end of verse 35. And the same day when the evening was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. Verse 39. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm, and he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this? That even the wind and the sea obey him. Now that's a storm right there, brother. That's a time in these men's life when they're out there in the storm. And uh, it seems like it's a storm that's not going to be able to be conquered by them in their own human strength. They need help with it. They need uh, some assistance to get through this thing. But as I read that, I, I went down to the Kentucky State Penitentiary. 
from all uh, England, and they said that he was a wild man. He was no drunk, and uh, he would uh, drink himself to death every night into oblivion, work in the coal mines over there. But old Billy, he got a dose of the Lord Jesus yeah, Christ. He got saved and born again. He said, every time I walk, I take a step. Uh, this right, this uh, uh, right foot here says, glory to God. My left foot says, praise the Lord. He get up out of his bed, he'd say, glory to God. He had to refrigerate and say, praise the Lord. He had to the couch, he said, praise God. Uh, glory to God, praise the Lord, glory to God, praise the Lord. But he could do his whole life that way. Praise and shout to God, what do you do? How about tomorrow morning? Yeah, How's it going to go, black child of God, who's going to sit through a, an independent Bible believing Baptist a service in the morning? Excellent teaching, excellent preaching this morning, amen. Then come to a service tonight, and then get up first thing in the morning and be a grumpy mullyhead. Yeah. yeah. Right. Say, what's a grumpy mullyhead? I don't know. It just sounded good to me. Amen. It sounds like you're a, you're a grouch. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the original freak says. Grouch. <laughs> Shame on us. Amen. <laughs> We've got no right to get up on the wrong side of that. No. Yeah. How many times do we do it? Why does Monday morning you get such a bad rap? Amen. Amen. Don't understand it as a child of God. Hey, you're going to the other side whether you like it or not if you're born again. Amen. Amen. Thank God. The other side, you just won't cry. I get tired of the tears. Amen. In my life. Uh, I've had a few things been through uh, from time to time, and everybody here has. Amen. Everybody here has a sad story. Yeah. Uh, we can dwell on that tonight, and I can uh, list them to you tonight. I can go down through the list just like you could, and I can list all those things I've been through. I, I get so tired of hearing things uh, people have been through. I get tired of hearing people, well, I've been through so much. Hey, buddy, I'll tell you what, there's not a child in here ain't been through a lot, too. He'll tell you he's been through a lot yesterday. Uh, if you got to have that for his report card, he's been through a lot. I mean, it's all matter, it's all relative, ain't it? Uh, uh, hey, we've all been through something or another. But I'll tell you what, a man that acts like that week after week and day after day, brother, they forgot where they're going when they die. Amen. Amen. You won't cry there, amen. amen. On the other side, there all the saints reside. Someday I'm going to see old Peter. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's good. Amen. Hey, well, a few guys I know would ever board for Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I like somebody that's going to go overboard. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Are you all want to sell any young guys down there? Just go overboard. Amen. 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 Just Amen. flip out for God. Yeah. Amen. 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 Just get flat hung up on that King James Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Just get hung up on witnessing for Jesus Christ. Yes, Just get Amen. hung up and be a radical fanatic about past that gospel tracks. Amen. Amen. Go overboard. Hey, hey, no one here going to look at you, buddy. If you just flip out for Jesus Christ, Amen. you go overboard for him. Hey, no one in here going to say nothing next time. Go, brother, go. Amen. Go. Pass up your track. Put more signs in your car. I tell you what, hey, I don't even think a guy's crazy put scripture signs all over his whole car. And I know a whole bunch of them, brother, got about 40 on their car. Yeah. You ain't going to be too radical for me. Yeah. Ain't no man out there too radical for me. I know there's some screwballs out there. I'll tell you what, hey, some of them I just go, I'm going to get a little bit hot right man. I said, get out there and sow the seed, get up, get corn for Jesus. Yeah. 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 Our problem is always just the opposite. We don't quite do enough. Right. Yeah. Amen. Right. You know what? Somebody might look at you funny. Yeah. 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 How do you think they look at me? Yeah. <laughs> 28 years. Just making sides, amen. That's crazy, amen. Leaving a good paying job. My wife leaves a good paying job, brother. We can make six lepers if we want to, amen. But what we do, chuck that thing out the door in the will of God. Amen. 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 Oh, Lord, if this is what you want, my yes. life, I believe it is. I'm going to go flip out for you. Yes. I'm going to step out into the deep dark. If this is your will for my life, you'll take care of me. Amen. Amen. Just what he's doing. Yes. He's taking care of us Amen. without no insurance right now, brother. Yeah. I got complete dental coverage right now. <laughs> I say, what kind of coverage you got? God's coverage. Yeah. 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 Some little fellow over here, he said he's going to give me dental coverage for the rest of my life. <laughs> Did I show you my gold tooth? <laughs> Did I show you my crown? <laughs> Is that right, brother? That's a free gold crown. I got a gold crown before I got to heaven, amen. I'm going to the other side someday. I might get a crown there, amen. But I got a gold crown before I ever got there. And it was free. Amen. You know what my dentist told me? He said, brother, anytime you need dental work, you bring your wife in. We've got you covered the rest of your natural life, brother. That's what God does for a man. He'll take care of you, brother. You know what he's called you to do. Oh, I 
first surgery done there, to have that thing all done, I have to set up a payment plan, you know, sixty dollars a month for the rest of my life. I go in to pay my sixty dollars. I get in there and they do what they said. You don't know us a dime. It's all been taken care of. Hey. Glory to God. Say, how does that happen? I said, what's that? That's a half a free haircut, brother. That's a free haircut right there. God's going to take care of me this side and the other side. God's going to take care of me this side. But he promised he'd take care of me this side. Hey, he's going to Just trust him a little bit. Hey, I jumped out, flipped out. Long time ago, God, out of the will of God, quit my job. And God said, don't quit that job. I quit my job. Way out of the will of God. But you know what? It wasn't that way forever. I had to wait about 20 more years. Say, man, and he said, do it. Yeah. <laughs> and I did it by that time. I'll tell you what, then God took care of me. Amen. Yes, yeah, sir. You better make sure it's the will of God. Amen. Amen. There are all the saints reside. I like Peter to say, why? Because he went overboard. Yeah. And someday I'm going to get to see him face to face. Right. And someday I'm going to get to see old. Oh, Ana. How many know Ana, man? That great saint of God, Ana. One preacher, one brother. Y'all don't know Ana? You don't know Brother Ana? Ana. Ana, you know Ana in the Bible. Ana, what? Ian, take your Bible and turn to Genesis chapter 35. Look at Genesis chapter 35. Hey, on the other side, I'm, gonna, I'm just not going to cry no more there. And on the other side, there are the saints of God. Look at Genesis chapter 35. Hey, God, make me an Ana. Amen. Genesis chapter 35, you want to see a, one of my, my favorite saints in the Word of God, it's Ana. Genesis chapter 35, look at verse, chapter, what did I say, 35, look at 36. One more first chapter there. Chapter 36, verse 24. And these are the children of Zimeon, both Asia and Ada. There he is. Watch this. This was that Ada that found the mule in the wilderness. How about that? Yeah. This the Holy Ghost recorded it. This. This was that Ada. That found the mules in the wilderness. I mean, he took time. The Holy Ghost did to point that out about this little guy, Ada, that nobody in this room knows anything about. They said, this was that guy that found the mules in the wilderness. How about that? I'll tell you what. He got his name and written down the word of God. And somebody that did something for God. How you must just obey his father and somebody. Somebody said, go get the mules. No, Ada said, yes, sir. He was just obedient what God wanted to do. He went out there and found a mule. And God said, I'm going to put your name in the book of life. I'm going to excite somebody about it. Some maybe some just some little magnet man someday. I'll tell you what, that excites me. This is that ain't. Well, I never read that before. I kept reading down through that verse right there. I thought, wow, man, ain't he must be something. God said this was that ain't it. Hey, he ain't said that by none of us. Someday he might, I don't know. Maybe someday in heaven, like my mind's a, I got a vivid imagination, amen. Someday I'll tell you when I make it to heaven, I may have God come to me and say, hey, this was that Jack Bucks. He was that one that just yeah. got all involved in those kids down there. Yeah. Got all excited about that bus work down there. Got all excited about that children's ministry down there. This was that Jack Bucks. Amen. Amen. Yeah. On the other side, there are the saints of us. Yes. Birthless tonight. How long have you been on that bus? Uh, it's a long time. Good. I didn't know I'll, I'll interpret that hillbilly lingo right there. That's probably about 20 years. <laughs> Isn't that about right? Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. That, that fellow right there has been driving that bus, bringing those kids in for 20 years. I'll tell you what, there's a whole lot of people that aren't seem to be recognized by nothing. But I'll tell you what, someday God's going to recognize you for what you've done in this church. I'll tell you what, you're going to work it all that day. There's the saints of mine. He's going to have a new head on his shoulder. I'll tell you what, they're the saints of life. You don't understand what a good time we're going to have. They're in heaven on the other side. Amen. It's coming someday. I've never been to the Redwood Poor Forest. I've never been to Yellowstone National Park. I've never been to the great state of Alaska. I've never been on a cruise ship. We see them cruise ships now and then. I look at them things. Me and my wife didn't talk to them. Don't think I'm going to hear Say why? It's all got to do when you're dead, right? <laughs> we got to do it. just got to do that to make it trip real bad. Hey, man, we got to learn that. Hey, sometimes you're not all, it's not all that's cracked up to be on this earth. Uh, we can get all wrapped up in this stuff. We can get all stirred up about this stuff. But it seems like when you take a vacation, when you get on an airplane, when you jump out of a, a healing balloon somewhere, I'll tell you what, there's just a big letdown in this earth. I'll tell you what, nothing is like it should be down here. Right. Compared to how it's going to be in that You might as well settle in your heart heaven so you know this. Amen. I may not make it. 
in all those places. But I'm going to make it to the other side. It's a place called home. It's a place called harmony. It's a place called heavenly. It's a place called peaceful. It's a place called protected, thank God. I won't have to carry my nine no more, amen. Amen. I don't like the dark. I never liked the dark. I'm afraid of the dark. Amen. My testimony is this. Uh, I'm a friend tonight, but I leave here, thank God. We're going out with a preacher, and uh, we'll have two or three in a group tonight. When it turns dark, amen, it won't be so scary. But thank God I'm going to a place someday. There's a thing out there. And thank God I'm going to that place where Jesus Christ is the light of that city. Amen. It's a place called protected. I get tired of being scared. They never come out with a pill for being afraid of them to take a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Hooked on this thing. We'll give you a whole bunch of prescription medication. I'm not a freight truck, amen. That's what I need. Won't we'll need that to happen, you know that? Brother Jack, how you doing?
weakness, crown after cross. Sweet after bitter, hope after fears. Home after wondering, praise after tears. Seeds after sowing, sun after rain. Sight after mystery, peace after pain. Joy after sorrow, calm after blast. Rest after weariness, sweet rest at last. Near after distant, clean after blue. Love after loneliness. Life after death. After long agony, rapture of bliss. Right was the pathway leading to this. You know, if you're saved and born again, you're on the right pathway. Amen. You're going the right direction. You come to a place where you know you're in the right church. You know you're serving the right God. You know you've got the right Bible. You know you've done the right thing. Now you know what you ought to do is just sit back, get on your uh, 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 spiritual horse and say, Hey, I'm going to go for Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, I'm going to lay it all down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be in that place called glory. Yeah. I'm going to be in that place where the terrans and samples are. And I got to look at them samples today. And brother, I'm one of them said to him, 20 cupid wingspan, brother. Yeah. Say, so how long is that? That's about 30 feet. That's a chair of a seraph from up there that's got these wings that go shh. I'll tell you what, about two seconds in heaven, about a uh, hundred percent of you is going to be shouting and running around that place screaming your brains out because you've got to take a look at not just Jesus Christ, although that's enough. You'll get to look around and say, wow, yeah. there is a seraph of And that big dude's going to look down and say, Holy, 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 yeah. Yeah. Lord God Almighty. Yeah. About the time you're looking up at him, he leaps up off that little stand he's on there and shavu, shavu, shavu. Yeah. He comes yeah. swooping yeah. down by you. I'll tell you what, that big wings swing up for you. About the time you're about to have a little fit, he said, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Yeah. God of hope. He that was dead and is alive forevermore. He yeah. said, right over there, child of God, holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty, shaboom, 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 shaboom. And he swoops over this way. And then that little crowd over there, that little Baptist church there, shaboom. His big wing goes over there and says, Pray, God Almighty. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Yeah. Everything's going to be just fine, Tony God. Sit back and relax. Matter of fact, jump on my back. I have a ride. Yeah. yeah. And you jump on his back. You don't have blood, buddy. He's got another end. He's got that servant. Now, this man who looks back, he said, Well, you brother Jack.
we're talking grizzlies. Now I don't walk with grizzlies. She was in a, she was in a zoo. No, we were there with grizzlies. And, uh, so me and, you know, me and my wife, we don't have a whole lot of brains, amen. <laughs> we just decided to go for like a 18 mile hike through a grizzly country. <laughs> you know what? That's probably not the most intelligent thing you can do on this earth. Now I had my can of bear spray. And she had her can of bear spray. Kill me. 
I tried to tell him, I said, there's sharks in the waters. You want to do those scuba diving? You want to do those snorkeling? The last thing I want to do is be dipped from a, a parachute down under that water when their jaws float around down there somewhere. That one little Hawaiian said, man, dude, hang loose, bro. It's going to be okay. Don't you be worried about no sharks. He said, there are not no sharks around here, man. Just take it easy, bud. It's going to be all right. I said, honey, how do you know? You got a GPS on every one of those jaws under there? You don't know where them sharks are. We got pictures of me and Missy Dent with just our hand up out of the water. And they buried us under that sea. Ain't gonna be that way in heaven. <laughs> heaven ain't gonna be that way. Are you going to heaven? Yeah. I'm going to heaven. Yeah. I got my reservation made. Yeah. 30 years ago, 31 years ago, I'm not 31. I was making meetings here a while back. I called this church and said, yeah, we got your reservation. And I, I was, sometimes I check, <coughs> make sure I got a reservation. I called this hotel and said, yeah, we got your reservation. I said, hallelujah. She said, your name's written in the book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amen. It sounds like yeah. you got my reservation, all right? Yeah. I said, how much is it going to cost me? She said, don't worry, Calvary already paid for it. <laughs> I said, what'd you say? She said, Cal, we already paid for your reservation. I got your name written in the book. I bought through the phone across the office. I got a point of God. I got a reservation. And Cal, we paid for it. I got a place there. We it. Amen. Thank God. She said, it's a non-smoking room. I said, Lord, I got it. It's the best time ever. She said, it just got one door on the outside. I said, amen. One way in. Thank God. He said, there's a big comforter on the bed. He said, you'll like the room. I said, I'll bet I will. That comforter's here, amen. I'll bet I will. I said, I'm going to take that comforter right now, brother. Yes. I've got a comforter that follows me around. Yes. And you know, I've got comfort in him. He gets wrapped up in me. And we can just have a good time. Yes. Yes. On our way to that place. She said, there's three locks on the door. I think he's got the father, got the son, and all that. <laughs> Thank you tonight for the word of God. 